Good morning, students. Welcome to the third part of solving additional mathematics paper 1, 4037, variation 12, May, June 2018. In uh, my last two previous videos, I have solved up to question number 9. Today, I'm going to solve question number 10. Okay. Do not use a calculator in this question. All lengths in this questions are in centimeter. So this is centimeter, this is centimeter. The diagram shows a triangle ABC where AB this and this we did find out and this is 60 degree. It is known that some of the values are given sine 60 is root 3 by 2, cos 60 is half and tan 60 is root 3. Okay, find exact value of AC. Now AC, I have two other sides is given and opposite angle is given. This is a cosine rule. I hope you know the cosine rule. A equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a cos a opposite of this one opposite angle so whenever we are going for ac we're gonna do square root and that's gonna be 4 plus square root 3 sorry 4 square root 3 plus 5 square a square and this one 4 root 3 minus 5 whole square minus 2 this 2 4 root 3 plus 5 4 root 3 minus 5 sorry i don't have any space i'm gonna just write down here cos 60 degree so this thing this is in the form of a plus b whole square that can be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square and this is in the form of a minus b whole square and that can be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square you can clearly see this to cross out so i'm gonna have double of this double of that so i can write down two times this one 4 root 3 whole square plus 2 times 5 square minus this one a plus b a minus b now if i have a plus b a minus b i always can write down a square minus b square so 2 over here 4 root 3 whole square minus 5 square that's that and cos 60 is given oh, half that's half and of course i have a square root that i can cancel this 2 and this 2 out and over here i have 2 and this one is 4 square root 3 square. This this cross out 16 times 3. That means 48. So times 48. And this is 5 to the 5 square is 25 times 2 is uh, 50. That's 50. 5 square and that, yeah, 50. Minus, this is going to be again 48 minus 20, 25. Okay. And of course, I have a square root that. So that's going to be 96 plus 50. And minus over here, 48 minus 25, I believe. That's going to be 23. So 96 plus 50 minus 23. I got square root 123. That's the exact value of AC. Okay. And this is, you can write down centimeter. Done. Okay. Hence show that cosec ACB equal to something like that. Now cosec ACB, we know that cosec theta equal to 1 by sine theta. Okay. So I need to find out some sine theta. Now I know this. I have all this side and ACB. ACB is this angle. Let's take this one to be theta. And we're going to use the sine formula. So sine theta over this side for root 3 minus 5 equal to sine 60. Sine 60 over opposite of this one is square root 123. Okay, we did that. All right, fine. So what can we do? We can write down sine 60's value is given root 3 by 2. So sine theta and root 3 by 2 and over here I have 1 2 3 and this is gonna be 4 root 3 minus 5 okay now if I write down that 1 by 
sine theta. If I take the reciprocal of that, I can flip this over. So on the top, I'm going to have 1, 2, 3. And below here, I'm going to have square root 3, then 4 root 3 minus 5 divided by 2. This 2 goes on the top. Okay, so it's going to be 2, then one, oh, square root 1, 2, 3. Okay, and below here, I have a square root 3 then 4 square root 3 minus 5. Now I need to compare that. I got 2 on the top. Then this one is nothing. And in the denominator, I'm not going to have something. I, I'm going to have something on the top. So what I'm going to do, rationalization. This is square root 3. That's 4 root 3 minus 5. And over here, 2 and uh, square root 123, probably I can do something. It can be... Yeah, this is a multiple of 3. I can see that 3 times 41. It can be written as a square root 3 times square root 41. So write down that times a square root 3 times a square root 41. Okay. So that's the whole part over here. Now I'm going to do rationalization. I'm going to multiply numerator and denominator with the conjugate pair of that one. That means all the terms are same. Only this negative sign is going to be positive. And this one is 4 root 3 plus 5. When I'm multiplying and I'm multiplying both numerator and denominator with the same number, I'm not actually changing anything. Now over here, this and this cross out, okay? And that's going to be 2 square root 41. And on the top, I have 4 root 3 plus 5. And below here, I have 4 root 3 square minus 5 square. So let's keep that one, 2 square root 41. And that we have we have seen that 4 square root 3 square, I got 48, 48 and 25. So 48 minus 25, I got 23. So that's 23. And over here, as it is, 4 root 3 plus 5. So when we compare that to then P is going to be 41 and Q is going to be 23. That's my answer. Okay, so that's that. I hope you can see that. Now, next one is uh, the diagram shows the graph of the curve. This is a curve. Uh, y equal to this. The curve meets the x axis, meets meet, meet the y axis at point A. The normal to the curve, oh, this is the normal of the curve at A, meet the x axis at B. Find the area shaded region of this one. Enclosed by the curve, the line AB, the line through B parallel to the y-axis. Give your answer. Okay. I need the coordinates of A and B. Okay. To find out coordinates of A, I think that's easier because on y-axis, x equal to 0. So let me write down on y-axis, x equal to 0. So we're going to go for this equation. y equal to e to the power 0 means 1 plus 3 divided by 8. So 4 by 8 equal to half. We already got the uh, coordinates of A and that's going to be 0, half. That was pretty simple. Now we're going to go for B. But to get that, I need to find out the gradient of the tangent first. Okay, this is the tangent. So gradient of the tangent, that's gradient of tangent is dy dx. And that's going to be... <coughs> If I take this one, 1 by 8, okay, 1 by 8, like that, and then it's e to the power 4x, okay, I, I'm, I'm going to do it over here, watch, that's going to be e to the power 4x by 8 plus 3 by 8, so dy dx going to be 1 by 8 e to the power 4x and differentiate that is going to be 4 and when you differentiate that that's going to be 0 now this 4 and 8 going to give you 2 so that's going to be half e to the power 4x so let me write down this half e to the power 4x so that's my dy dx okay tangent and we know that over here x is nothing but uh, 0 so Gradient of the tangent at x equal to 0 would be half e to the power 0, that means 1. Okay, so that's 1 equal to half. 
we need the gradient of this uh, uh, normal okay so gradient of the normal would be minus 1 by gradient of the tangent that means negative 1 by half or negative 2 okay now we need the equation equation would be equation of the normal normal or perpendicular line of this graph at this particular point since i have a point zero and half and gradient of the normal equal to minus two so the equation would be y minus half equal to minus two x minus zero so y equal to minus two x this is going to be plus half okay so that's the equation of this one now b is on x-axis okay so we can write down on x-axis y equal to zero so if y equal to zero 2x comes over here 1 by 2 so x equal to 1 by 4 we got b b is 1 by 4 0 okay so this b is 1 by 4 0 now this line is parallel to y-axis so equation of this line would be 1 by 4 so we have this equation we have this equation we know everything we are ready to use the integration to find this area okay so let's do find out this area required area required area would be i i want you to see that look at this if i find out area under the curve from o to b and then if i subtract this area of the triangle i can get area of the shaded region that's what i'm gonna do okay so that's gonna be integrate it's 0 to 1 by 4 and the curve is uh i can bring 1 over 8 over here and it's e to the power 4x plus 3 dx so that's area under the graph minus area of the triangle okay area of the triangle let me write down area of triangle a o b okay so this is gonna be 1 by 8 and this is gonna be when i in, uh, integrate that e to the power 4x by 4 okay e, e to the power uh, 4x by 4 and this one gonna be plus 3x and this is gonna be 1 by 4 and then 0 minus area of triangle is this one half half base is gonna be 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 and height is gonna be half so height is gonna be my half and this is gonna be 1 by 8 so when it's uh, uh, x is 1 by 4 so 4 4 cross out e by 4 plus then it's gonna be uh, 3 by 4 okay so that's that and minus is going to be e to the power 0 that means 1 by 4 and that's going to be 0 so that's that first part and over here 1 by 2 to the 4 4 4 to the 16 so this thing come 1 by 8 and when i take the bracket off it's going to be if i take 4 e plus 3 minus 1 minus 1 by 16 so that's gonna be over here 8 8 uh, forza actually 32 32 and over here e plus 2 minus 1 by 16 okay so i can write down 32 and that's gonna be e plus 2 and this is gonna be minus 2 that that cross out e by 32 I can use the calculator to get this value but look at this it says give your answer in the form of e by a where a is a constant we got a is a constant so a equal to 32 but it says you must show all of your working uh, uh, find the area okay there is no centimeter nothing so unit square and a equal to 32 that's that the last part it says that given that 6 to the power p times uh, 8 to the power p plus 2 
times 3 q 9 to the power 2 q minus 3 in the denominator equals to that okay so what happened i have the prime numbers as a base 2 and 3 so i'm gonna split that so it can be written as 2 to the power p times 3 to the power p that's 6 and then 8 can be written as 2 to the power 3 then p plus 2 and i have 3 to the power q and below here i can write down 3 to the power 2 9 can be written as that 2q minus 3 okay so i'm gonna take all the two together so 2 here p plus this one is gonna be 3p plus 6 and for 3 i can write down power p plus q and this is going to be minus 4q and this is going to be minus 6 plus 6 this according to the question can be written as 2 to the power 7 times 3 to the power 4 so let me just simplify a little bit uh, 2p plus uh, that's 4p plus 6 times 3 this is going to be p minus 3q plus 6 okay now it's 2 to the power 7 times 3 to the power 4 therefore the power of 2 is supposed to be equal and power of 3 to be equal so 4p plus 6 equal to 7 so p equal to 7 minus 6 is 1 1 by 4 so that's the value of p now p minus 3q plus 6 equal to 4 p we got 1 by 4 1 by 4 plus 6 this is going to be minus 4 equal to 3q so i can use the calculator so 6 minus 4 is 2 plus 1 by 4 i got that 9 by 4 divided by 3 so q equal to 3 by 4 and that's my answer for q okay now using the substitution u equal to x to the power 1 by 3 solve that so 4 that can be written as x 1 by 3 plus this can be written as x 1 by 3 square plus 3 equal to 0. So 4 u plus u square plus 3 equal to 0. So rewrite to form a quadratic equation u square plus 4 u plus 3 equal to 0. So that's going to be 3 1 is a 3 middle term break 3 u plus u plus 3 see that this becomes 4 u so take u common u plus 3 plus 1 common u plus 3 equal to 0 therefore u plus 3 u plus 1 equal to 0 now u plus 3 equal to 0 or u equal to minus 3 and u to be x 1 by 3 equal to minus 3 to find out x uh, take power 3 3 so this this cross out therefore x equal to minus 27 that's the first one and second one u plus 1 equal to 0 so u equal to minus 1 x 1 by 3 equal to minus 1 same thing take power 3 to get rid of uh, cube root so this this cross out so x equal to minus 1 so the answer would be minus 1 minus 27 okay so that's uh, my solution of paper 4037 uh, variation 12 2018 may june hope you understand that if you have any question please leave uh, the question in the comment box i'll get back to you thank you take care